Interesting. Here we are. It is... What day is it? It is Thursday afternoon. The show is on Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, the catch is I work tomorrow from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I also have trivia tonight from like 6 to 8. So I have like three more hours today to get all this stuff done and then only a few hours tomorrow and I really don't want to be working on this tomorrow. Um, I made an afternoon coffee, which I rarely ever do. It's pretty good. It's a new light roast that I uh, just got yesterday. Whew. Okay, so my goals for tonight, there are so many flies in my house right now, so I'm sorry if you hear a fly <laughs> fly by. Um, so my goals for right now are clean out, oh my god, I need to go buy another bin. <laughs> um, clean out the storage bin that I have. Try out um, my like table setup in real life. I'll probably just use my futon to measure it all out um, and make sure everything will fit. I need to like put together some things. And then I also want to have all of my products pretty much made. So I want to take a few quick product pictures so that I can post on social media tomorrow. And then I need to like lint roll everything and like check for imperfections, um, get it all like nice and ready to go. And then put everything in these bins so that all my products can stay like pet hair free um, and just ready to go. And then all I have to worry about is like all the logistics stuff. And I need to make like a finalized packing list and to-do list for tomorrow and for the night or for the, uh, the morning of the event. I am so tempted to just like keep watching Fruits Basket. All right. Big Tupperware time. I just have a bunch of random stuff in here right now. I have a carrying case for my lights. I have this tea advent calendar from Christmas. I'm just accepting that my office is gonna be a mess for the foreseeable future. These, I think I'm gonna bring these. I think I'm gonna to try to sell these three bucket hats that I have. So I do need to clean those up as well. Oh, this is an old flyer. This is an old flyer that I was gonna put around my neighborhood. But this isn't me anymore. This is not what I'm selling. Oh, how we've grown. A whole thing of yarn that I could have used for something. This, oh God, what is going on? Hello. Okay, this is just all stuck together. <laughs> this one I used to use for my earrings, um, but I don't have anything that would really fit on there. This, oh, there she goes. Yeah, I just got this like cheap at Joann's a while ago. It does the job for earrings. I don't have any necklaces or anything, so I don't need these. Oh, this is, um, one of my, I think this is the prototype that I'm keeping, but it's like a switch case uh, that looks like a lemon when you close it up. I kind of took it apart a little bit, but maybe I'll start selling these again, but that was just a prototype. You can find the pattern for it on my Etsy though still if you are interested. Why is there so much dust in here? Anyway, I'm gonna put something in here um, just because I only ordered 100 business cards and they expect like 300 to 400 people to come to this show and I don't expect everyone to grab a business card, but like what if I run out of business cards and what am I going to do? So I'm going to put all my information along with pictures of my products as in, like, in case I do like run out of products because I really didn't make that many. So that if someone still comes by they can just take a picture of this and they'll know like what I was selling and where it, what my um, Instagram is and everything. And then I have my tablecloths down here. Which I'm wondering, like, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be spiders in here or something. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go clean that shit out, and then I'll be back. Okay, next up. Okay, so the bin is all cleaned out. Um, it wasn't as gross as I expected. I just kind of... Hello? I just kind of shook the tablecloths out over the balcony, and they actually smelled pretty good. Uh, the bin just needed wiped down. It was just a little dusty. And so now the bin and the tablecloths are good to go. If you saw my display supply unboxing video, um, feel free to go back and watch that if you haven't. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff that needs to be assembled before I can practice my display. So I'm just gonna assemble those things right now. And then we can practice like where in the world I'm gonna put everything. First up is this thing. It doesn't really need to be assembled, but it has like 
all of these little clip things. I think there's 24 and they were just loose in the box, so I need to find them all. All right, and the other thing I need to do, assemble these cubes. So I have an idea of what I'm going to build with them. I know for sure I need like a little corner for my stuffed animal racks uh, or hammocks. And these are pretty cheap, actually. They're just these little caps and you can just slide the corners in. And they don't really lock, but they like, they stay in there. Okay, I think I finally got it. Okay, so this is a little corner and I need to add two more on the sides, I think, in order to get like, cause these nets are bigger than the one that I made. So I think I need to add another one on each side to make it the right size. But I will do that out there because there's no room right here. My room is such a mess. I can't remember if I talked about it in my unboxing video of this stuff, but there was this like kid's toy called Ello, which I'll put it up here um, in case you need a refresher. But this was like my favorite toy and those toys are discontinued now and I really want some, like really badly. Maybe I will save up and like find some on eBay. This is what that reminds me of because the pieces were ooh, pretty much just like this. It's adult small business Legos. I know realistically I'm gonna take have to take all of this apart um, tonight to put it in the box <laughs> and then put it all back together on the show day. But you know what? That's why I'm practicing right now so that I know exactly what to do. Okay, so for this show, we need a six foot table. I think mine is six foot by 30 inches. Okay, I closed the patio door so it should be a little quieter in here. You can really hear the air when the patio is open. Hey! So the only place I could find that was big enough to practice my setup was our bed. So I cleaned off the bed and it's going this way. There's no good camera angle, but I'm gonna practice some things. Hopefully Miles will get out of the way and then I'll, I'll show you, so. Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so the pillows are like the end of the table. So this display that I wanted to do with the stuffed animal thing is gonna take up like this whole corner. Um, and then we have all of this stuff. So um, I was like almost happy with this and then I realized that none of the scrunchies are out here. So my plan was to have both of these scrunchie displays out here as well. So I guess I will keep trying. Okay, you are nestled in with the cat toys right now. Okay, let me think about this. Oh no. And I'm honestly thinking I need this corner like elevated. Eh, one of these, it might be sturdy enough. Okay, this isn't terrible. Okay, I think on a sturdy table, this would actually work fine. Go across like this. And I'll have my own little animals in there. Okay, that actually works fine. And then I can put Scrunchy right here. More scrunchy here. Oh, it's like kind of symmetrical. This is great. This is turning out great. Okay, so this is actually looking like a real setup now. We will have a more sturdy thing up there. I think I'll just bring that in there. I like the symmetrical scrunchies and then this keeps falling down, but hopefully it will actually stay up. It actually doesn't look very stable right now. My camera's about to die, so please don't die. Um, I'll think I'll put my bucket hats out there the information down there. I'll probably put like a few like plushies or something in there and then I'll have this little guy right here for business cards and hand sanitizer and I just got to put the price cards out and I think we have ourselves a setup. I'm gonna go charge my camera. This is feeling real. This is feeling real now. Ooh, when my camera is charged I need to show you my business cards so I will see you then. Hey howdy, this is me editing and I realized that I said let me show you my business cards, and I never showed you my business cards. I got the little square ones because I'm quirky, and I got the rounded corners because I'm quirky. <laughs> um, this is my logo. I touched it up a little bit. And then on the back, I have like my updated 
product description kind of, so fidget accessories and then more crochet creations. And then there's my Instagram and my Etsy and my Shopify. These next few clips are like unexpected ASMR, so enjoy, I guess. Anyway, I think that's all I had to say. Bye. Today is Friday. The craft show is in like 15 hours. I just got home from work. I have a smoothie for nutrients. I also stopped at the bank on the way home and got change for like my cash drawer. The goal for tonight is pretty much everything else. Um, I need to like lint roll. I need to lint roll everything, make sure there's no like cat hairs on it or there's no like ends sticking out with the yarn and then pack all the products up. I also need to print a poster out. I need to pack up my business cards and then like a bunch of other little stuff like hand sanitizer and another lint roller. First I'm gonna shower, then do the products, then do everything else.
Hey. Whoa. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready. Got my little toolbox. I got the cats going insane. Excuse the stream in the background. Oh, I still have to do this picture frame thing. But all the display stuff is in there. I got a few things left. But other than that, we're ready. I am so tired. I'm about to fall asleep standing up. But I am very excited. Hi, Miles. Hi. I think this will be the end of this video. Because the next one should be the actual craft show itself, which is in less than 12 hours. So I'm going to go finish getting random stuff together, and I will see you for the craft show. Wait, also. Got these last night. Anyway, that's all. It's craft show day. It's craft show day. It is craft show day. I'm so excited but so nervous. I think everything is packed up as far as I know. Everything is like extra charging right now. Um, I'm being quiet because it's like 6 a.m. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get dressed. We're gonna get breakfast. I'm so tired. I really want to just sleep for a week. Hello. Can you tell it's been about a month and a half since I filmed the first part of this video? So originally my plan was to make a whole video about the craft show day itself, but it went by really fast and it was really hectic and overwhelming and I don't know why I thought I was going to make a whole video out of it. I'm just going to talk about how the craft show went to end this video. How does that sound? So the morning was pretty busy. I did luckily have my boyfriend coming with me, which was a huge help. And we like got up early and we got breakfast at our favorite little local place, which was really nice. And then there was a bunch of volunteers at the craft show who helped us set up and like the little dollies of the freight elevators and like it was just it felt really cool and I maybe possibly was the person with like the least amount of stuff in terms of like boxes and things there may have been a few people uh who had less than me but I am just so glad that I'm not like a ceramics artist because that would be impossible this is my friend Kate she is a really good illustrator uh she took the course with me and this is her booth it always looks really cute Everyone's great. Go check my friend Kate out. Since it was so long ago, I'm trying to remember everything that I wanted to talk about. But getting set up was pretty easy. We had two hours to get set up since this was like a, a first craft show thing. It was pretty much everyone there's first craft show. So it was cool to like all help each other out and we walked around and like, you know, exchanged business cards and things. The problems I ran into, I had a notebook of problems, but I don't know where that went. Like someone commented on my I think it was the unboxing supplies videos that I because I had these like clear price things that I was going to use and I didn't really consider that them being clear would be would make it hard to read the prices so someone on that video suggested putting like white paper behind it and that is what I ended up doing just on the fly so that people could see the prices and even then it looked like a little it looked a little unprofessional so I actually had another show last weekend and I made new signs and they look good, but I'm not here to talk about that show. So I had to do a lot of like quick fixes and there were things that I didn't think about, but it was kind of fun to solve it on the fly. The disappointing thing is I've been to these shows before, like the shows put on by the same nonprofit and they are always packed. Uh, and they told us that this one usually has like 300 to 400 people there. I think I already mentioned that in this video because I was afraid of running out of business cards, but like 
I'm pretty sure less than 100 people showed up, which I mean like maybe less than 50? I don't know, maybe between 50 and 100. It was like no people, really. And you could kind of tell that everyone there was friends or family of the people who were selling there. My camera's about to die, please don't die. Uh, so it was kind of weird, like people were just only buying from their friends or relatives and then like maybe a few other booths, so... Uh, I'm kind of glad for that because it wasn't as stressful, but also like... I don't know, I kind of wanted a lot of people to show up. So I did make... I think about $100 in sales, maybe $120, which was great because we didn't have to pay to be in this show besides like the class fees. So that went pretty well. I made some money. That was good. And I had a really good experience. Like I learned a lot uh, and I felt way more prepared for the second show that I just did. It was just really fun and I made a lot of friends. I got to meet everyone who I had had those online classes with. And we got drinks afterwards, like the people who put on the course reserved like a brewery, um, like party room. So we all got to go like get drinks and have little awards and like just talk to each other and decompress, which was really nice. So I don't know. I think that's all I wanted to say. Maybe I'm, I plan on doing more craft shows, so I'll make more videos on those, but I'm trying to get this all out before my camera dies. So thank you for coming along with me in this process. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, more craft show content coming, more crochet content coming. I hope you have a great day. Drink some water. I need a haircut so bad. Oh my God, okay, I just finally need to get this video out because it's been two months. Bye.